So we are here at the Spirit of Summer event at the Aspen Waite South headquarters. And the brilliant thing about being face to face is that we get to meet lots of interesting individuals. And I'm delighted to be joined by David, who is a client of Mark Smith, one of the partners who we've been celebrating this evening, who's um, embarking upon retirement, a new chapter for him. But thank you for joining us on Aspen Waite Radio. Firstly, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your business? Well, I first met Mark uh, through one of his um, staff, who's a keen cricketer like me, and he introduced me to Mark. And I was doing, I was a sole trader doing consulting work, and they did my um, my accounts each year and my tax calculation. And then I set up a business, um, a limited company, uh, for which Mark Smith weren't the accountants, but they carried on doing my personal tax affairs. And Mark was very helpful to me when I came to sell the business. Um, helping me with my personal tax, my capital gains tax calculations and what, what I could incorporate and not incorporate um, in my allowances. Now, and they, uh, they've been doing my tax affairs for years and Terry Lorimore has been looking after my tax for many years. So um, they've always been prompt, very efficient, get the job done quickly, keep me on my toes, tell me when I've got to pay my tax. Um, yeah, it's a good company. How important is it when you're a business owner, you've got so many different things on your to-do list and to worry about, but to have an accountant, an advisor that you trust and is reliable? Oh, it's essential. Unless you're an accountant yourself, uh, you re- rely on them to, do, to give you advice and to tell you what you can and can't do. And particularly when it comes to buying and selling businesses, it's vital to have somebody who can really guide you. Uh, so absolutely vital. I think sometimes when we speak to entrepreneurs and and business owners, we don't normally talk about sometimes how lonely it can be in business. And that's the other thing as well about having someone reliable that you can trust upon to embark with on your business journey. And yours has been one that's gone on for almost over 30 years. It is. When you're the owner, owner owner-manager, it is a a lonely business. You can have a partner, but it's still ultimately down to you. And, And I've worked with a number of accountants Include, uh, including Mark, and it, it's, it, it is the most possibly the most important link you've got. And this past 18 months might well be the most challenging for lots of business owners. How have you found it? And again, how and where have you turned to when you've needed support and well, advice? I, I had just sold my limited company. I was just returning to consulting work when the COVID hit and sort of knocked it on the head. And uh, it's, been, it's been really tough to try and find... Um, business. Um, I've networked furiously. I've been in touch with people, uh, but of course they've been retrenching. They don't know what's happening tomorrow. So it's been very difficult. I think it's emerging from that. Uh, People are being more expansive. Um, I've been helping some people with selling their business. Um, I'm I'm looking to talk into another company and possibly working with them and bolting on another business to them. So it might just be starting to open up. Which is exciting, right? Because it's been it's been yes. really, really tough. Do you think actually what's gone on in the last 18 months might make people a little bit more disruptive and innovative in the way that they approach business? Well, I think given these labour shortages we keep hearing about, they're certainly going to have to think of other ways of doing it other than paying people to do to do jobs. If the people aren't there, they're going to have to invest in equipment and machinery and capital goods to do it, which I think will be a brilliant thing for the country, actually. Um, So they're going to have to think a little bit more uh, expansively. Uh, It's going to be a big initial upfront cost, but in the long run, paying off, whereas just paying a wage seems like a safer option. So I think that's going to change. And finally, we're surrounded here in a networking event face-to-face. How important is that element of business, the the relationships you've got? Crucial. Even even with the expansion of Zoom and Messenger and Team and all that kind of thing, there's nothing like actually being with somebody um, and and being able to to talk to them and have a cup of coffee in your hand or a glass of beer or whatever. Very, very important. You can't replace it. No, you certainly can't. Well, thank you so much for your time and for attending this evening. Pleasure. Aspen Weight Radio.